Fergus's ship sails along smoothly. At last, they spot a fog-enshrouded isle on the horizon. Elowit's father is on the isle, as is the Dragon's Gate. As they draw closer to the isle, Elowit no longer fears that his father might be one of the conspirators. As the moment of truth nears, Elowit only prays that he is safe. Chapter 17, Pirate Ship Oi, laddie. You don't get seasick, do you? I'm fine, sir. This is a beautiful ship. ha! <laughs> For a sea rover, eh? May I ask you a question? What is it? Why did you agree to give us passage? When we said that we wished to travel to Valor, the people in the harbor treated us as though we were mad. I'm sure they did. It is the Dread Isle, after all. If not for good reason, we wouldn't want to go either. And yet, you've given us free passage. Why is that? Listen to me, laddie. Men are strange beasts. We can't resist a challenge. Something appears on the horizon, and we immediately set sail. Some dreams we conquer, others we abandon. I've grown old. I haven't had a good challenge in many a year. The new moon calves appeared seeking passage to the Dread Isle. I was impressed with your courage. I think you may be the ones to survive the Dread Isle. We won't disappoint you. We will return. Alright, then we'll weigh anchor and wait for you. Light a signal fire when you want to return, and we'll pick you up. Thank you. Captain, there's a dory adrift to port. It looks like there's someone aboard. What are your orders? Bring him aboard. Looks like we've got a visitor. Odd, though, finding a boat adrift near here. Odd? Why is that? The sea currents in this area. Anything drifting around here? Must have come from the Dread Isle. Oh. Shall we greet our guest? Ellawood! You done talking to old man Fargus? <laughs> you saw us. No, I heard you'd gone off with him. You'd heard anything? We can trust him. We got lucky finding him. Hmm. If he say so. Hey, you two, come here. They've pulled the dory aboard. I wonder who's on board. It's... It's a girl? Uh, uh. Oi, you there. Me. Give me a hand, will you? I don't know where to... Grab her. <laughs> okay. Such the gentleman. Stow it! Hmm? Ninian? Ninian, wake up! Unbelievable. What are the chances? Do you know her? She's how Lindis and I met a year back. I rescued Ninian from a band of villains. Please, Ninian, open your eyes. Uh... Ninian, can you hear me? Uh... I... Are you well? Why were you on that boat? Where is Nils? Why wasn't he with you? Uh, uh. Ninian? Linda, something's wrong with her. Who? Who? Captain, pirate ships approaching from the northwest. Do they dare attack Captain Fargus and the Davros? They must be mad. What flag are they flying? I've never seen that pattern before. These seas belong to us. Whoever they are, they're in our waters. This is a day for strange occurrences, it seems. You whelps watch your own hides. We've got no time to waste on you. Wah! Water! The hole's been breached. We're taking on water. Breached? Those scum are more dangerous than I thought. It's bad, Captain. We need all hands below decks, or we'll sink! 
Take care of it. I'm going to carve these scallywags some new gizzards. We need your help. The water's up to the galley. You must come below, Captain. Uh, Fargus, leave the enemy to us. Fighting is something we're good at. But a sinking ship, that's your affair. You have to do something, or we'll all drown. We'll deal with things up here. Please, hurry. Fine. The deck is yours. I'll be back as soon as we plug that breach in the hole. Go! Lynn, take her to that room. I will. Here they come! All we want is the girl. Kill the rest. Alright, let's go ahead and check that map before we dive into it. As you can see, we are on a boat, so a lot of water right here that we cannot pass through, unless you're a Pegasus Knight. We have a whole lot of Black Mages on the left side, and a whole lot of Speedy Sword users on the right, along with a bow. So I'm going to pick my units accordingly, and yeah, since this is my uh, backup save file, you could say good old Rebecca is still here as well as Lucia, so no need to worry about my mistakes in the last map now, huh? Okay, I believe these are the people in the formation that I want to be using. Looking pretty good to me. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. Yeah, I'll deploy Merlinus yet again. Ahoy! Can you hold the deck until reinforcements arrive? Who? Me? I'm Jake. Hmm? I. I'm new to the Davros's crew. Huh? You heard about me from Anna. Oh, so she's worried about me. That warms my heart, my friend. Let me give you some information. We've got merchants aboard. Buy what you need from them. This is the armory. This is the shop. You won't be able to stock up once we reach the Dread Isle. Buy as much as you can carry while you've got the chance. So that's a nice little helpful tip that, yeah, I probably want to buy some stuff. I've been using a lot of iron weapons up to this point, but for the people that are finally running out of uh, weapon ammo, or I guess just weapon durability, yeah, this is the time to stock up, so I'm gonna have one of my guys make sure that we take care of that. Um, off the top of my head, I know I'm going to need a steel axe for Hector, a steel axe for Bartra, I believe. I brought him along, didn't I? Yeah. Um, probably a steel bow for Rebecca as well, since I only have one of those, and maybe a steel lance or two, maybe a couple of steel lances, because I'm kind of low on lances, but I think I'm pretty good on swords though. But besides that, as you can see, we have a couple of choke points on this map right here. I'm gonna go ahead and send Hector over here despite a triangle disadvantage, because, yeah, just as I thought, zero damage done by these sword guys. The defense of Hector, ladies and gentlemen. So he'll make a nice wall to just put right here. And ideally, I can have someone like a mage or a hand axe or uh, right behind him to kind of pick off enemies that he's not able to take on. Although, since this is that new save file, Hector is still level 8, so I actually want him to get the level ups here. We'll go ahead and put Lowen down here because he, once again, is a tank. A slow tank, but only one damage from these guys. So I'm going to want to have someone behind him as well. Again, Barcher with his hand axe will be quite helpful, I believe, and so will Lucius, since he's a magic user. So that takes care of these two sides, so that just leaves this one over here, which can be a little tricky, because like I said, these black mages, they can really pack a punch. you got to watch out for that. And it might be a little problematic, because um, if I position myself in the wrong way here, yeah, all these guys can gang up on me at once, and someone's going to freaking die, probably. So I want people with good uh, res and good range to be over here. Uh, not Lucius, though, because he will be weak to their Dark Tome, super effective damage and all that, so we have to watch out. Um, Lin can easily take this guy out. Yeah, can it be... No, it has to be with two hits. That should be fine. Seven damage isn't a whole lot, but it will stack up after a while if I let Lin take too many hits. Yeah, look at that. That's a good one. Nice. Strength. Whenever you get strength with Lin, oh, that's some good stuff. So I think I'll send Florina over here. Um, again, I don't want anyone to get too ganged up, so Lin at most will take... Yeah, she's going to take three hits right here, so it might be a little risky. So I might want to put Priscilla right here um, and heal Lin up. Priscilla can possibly take one hit from that uh, Dark Mage, which will probably happen because she's defenseless. But I think she can take one hit and be just fine. So I think I'll send Rebecca over here to kind of back these guys up. So Bartra and Lowen can take care of over here. Hector and Lucius. Um, I might want to send Dorcas over here. 
Uh, just in case, because Dorgas does need some level ups anyway, yeah, in this wave, uh, he's still level 8 as well. Well, I believe Bartra is level 9, so yeah. Actually, it's Dorcas and Hector that need to get all the experience here. Elwood's still at level 9 as well. Although, these black mages over here are gonna stack up really, really quickly, so we need to watch out for that. And then Sarah, I guess you can be the one that kind of hangs back here and does emergency healing, but also does some of the shopping that I need. Um, so the shopping that we need, I don't think I'm in need of any fire, uh, tomes. Uh, at the moment, or, uh, Thunder, because Eric has plenty of those. Uh, maybe a Lightning? I forget if I need one, but I know for sure right now I need a heal. I'm gonna go ahead and get a heal and stuff them in, because gold, uh, is not super plentiful in these older games right here, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then I'll have her, uh, finish off buying the weapons that I think I'll need as well. Ooh, a miss. Unfortunate. At least it gives me more time to get all my units into position, I suppose. Oh yeah, see, that this is why I wanted to heal, yeah, because Lin is possibly going to take uh, three hits here. One from that guy, then two from the, the Black Mages. But since I healed up with Priscilla, I don't think she has a chance of dying, thankfully. Yeah, but you see, we're going to get swamped with Black Mages over here really quickly. Yeah, look at that. It's not good. With the skillful dodge, good. Again, I wasn't really in uh, danger of dying right there, but I mean, the fewer hits I take, obviously, the better. Let's see if you can skillfully dodge again, Lin. That'll save me some trouble. Not so lucky, it would seem. Okay, so what am I gonna do here? As you can see, we are kinda swamped over this way. Low one is working as a good, um, as, as a good door stop right there. Uh, let's see, I did give Lorena a Steel Lance, so she can do a bit more damage than she was before. I can't double without the Slim, though, it looks like. I can't quite kill with the Slim, so this is all very unfortunate. I think I'm gonna have to kill this guy as Lin first off, which I can do easily enough. But I'm just gonna have to hope I can take all of these Black Mages out without too much of an issue. Uh, Rebecca, well, I guess I could have taken that guy out with Rebecca, which is what I should have done, to be honest. Um, not a big deal, though. Because, I think I can send Elowood in here, hopefully to take these guys out, with the Steel Sword. I cannot double with the Steel Sword for whatever reason, but Florina can take it out right there, so... What is this guy's attack range? Ah, I see, yeah, this is where things are getting a tad bit dicey. Um... Well, I guess I can soften this one up with Elowood and take it out with Florina. Well, I can actually kill with the Rapier, so I should do that instead. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Don't want to play around with these guys. How many times have I gotten the crit on the second hit with Elliwood with the Rapier? <laughs> like, when I clearly needed it with the first one. Okay, so now I think I can get Rebecca down here. We'll take this one out. We can indeed take it out. 10 damage, 53%. I guess I can sneak Priscilla around to heal her though if she does get hit though. Although I'm holding out hope that's not gonna be the case. Come on, Rebecca. Good job, alright. Rebecca gonna be the best archer in the game for me, I feel like. Alright, we're doing pretty good so far. Now I can put Farina right here, or maybe I don't want to, because this guy, well, Priscilla's in her attack range, and it's his? I, I don't know. <laughs> we don't really know the gender of these guys, shamans. Um, is in the attack range right here, so I guess we'll just try to do some damage here. So it doesn't really matter if I use the Steel Lance or the Slim Lance. In fact, it's probably better to use the Slim Lance, honestly. This one does a bit less damage, so we'll try that. Let's see, 6, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. Ah, that's bad. Rhea could possibly die next turn if uh, she doesn't dodge any hits. Like that. Ugh. Well, that one extra point in res might do more <laughs> uh, than you might think. Um, okay, so now to deal with this side. See if I can take this guy out. Let's see, 78, 76. 66. So probably better to use the javelin right here just to make sure I can kill this guy. Then we'll put Doricus in there to take a few hits. Get Doricus in there, let's see what he can do. Oh wow, that's actually really, really bad. <laughs> I might just save Doricus to um, take out the bow and arrow guy, because that's, that's no good at all. 
Alright, we'll do some more weakening you up right here. Of course, I can't hit my 66, but my enemy can hit their 53s. Of course, of course! Okay, let's see if I can bait these guys into attacking Priscilla. Or just move her right here, or one of them into attacking Priscilla at the very least. Okay, can I soften this one up with Lucius or will he kill? Yeah, he'll kill. Don't really want him to kill, though, is the thing. Um... I guess I'll just have... Let's go ahead and bring Barch over here. Or, uh, Dorcas over here. Let's go ahead and bring Dorcas over here, I guess. And Barch can just back up low and... Just in case I need to. Um... Oh, Sari, I still need to buy some stuff. Let's see, I definitely need a Steel Axe for Hector. Take that. Let's see, I think I need one additional Steel Lance as well. And I think that's about it, actually. Oh, and a Steel Bow. There we go. Send him to Merlinus because we're full, and I think that'll be it. I think we'll be pretty good with that little stockpile. The most amount of weapons I've ever bought by far. See, I think Hector can take care of these guys on his own, honestly. I'll go ahead and put Lucius here, in case I need him in a bit. Okay, let's cross our... Okay, good, so he's, he's retreating, good. So I don't think Farina is in danger of being killed this round, then. Ooh, that guy had a Lance Reaver. That's no good. So that's the one that I need Dorcas to take on for me. He's got a steel bow. That is quite a bit of damage. But <laughs> I didn't mean to have the hammer equipped. Oops. Yeah, they all like to gang up on Farina for some reason. Despite Pegasus Knights having the reputation for having pretty high res. Okay, so now I think we can push forward pretty okay and not have that much of an issue. So we'll go ahead and move Lowen up here. Since this guy's a Lance Reaver, I mean... God, did I move them in the wrong direction again? No, 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 I meant to put Barcher over here. We'll go ahead and get Dorcas up here, and he should take these guys out in one hit, yeah, because he's so strong. Um, but Barcher shouldn't have a problem taking this guy down. Well, he can't really take him down. <laughs> kind of having some problems over here. In fact, I might send Rebecca over here to kind of help with this archer guy. Let's go ahead and take care of this black mage uh, front first, because these are the, the dangerous guys here. Uh, Rebecca, I need you to get up here and heal Lynn. Definitely, definitely. In fact, if anyone else needs healing, I think Rebecca, or uh, Sarah's actually be able to do that. We'll do that for Lowen next turn. Okay, um, actually, let's go ahead and get Dorcas his kill first. Oh, and I gave Dorcas the Devil Axe in case he needs it. You can see it does huge damage, 26. Uh, but again, we will take damage. And you can kill yourself that way. It's quite inconvenient. But it's just good to use in a pinch. Okay, so if I kill all these guys, at most I'll just have to take two hits from the Black Mages, and I can make that work. So then you get up here, take care of this guy. Even if all three of these guys get in all their hits, then we'll still have one HP left, I believe, if these damage calculations are correct. Which I shouldn't have to worry about, because I'm going to take out another one of these guys, no problem. A Guiding Ring! Hmm, let's check out and see what that does. For Magic Wielders and Troubadours, level 10 and up. So another class change item! Fantastic. Yeah, we'll be able to start doing that fairly soon, I think. Okay, let me make sure that Florina's not in... Well, she will be in range right here, unfortunately. I don't think she can take out this guy either with the Slim Lance. Yeah, just barely. You need a little bit more strength there, Florina. Let me see if I can soften him up maybe with this. Yeah, but that's big damage that he's going to be dealing in turn. Um, and oh man, this is a tricky one. Uh, hmm. Well, we know what we're doing over here at the very least. We're going to wear this Iron Axe out. Give Hector all this experience. Trying to get the main trio up to level 10. Just about there, though. Good speed for Hector. Love seeing speed on Hector there. Okay, so Bartra can take out this guy. Although I might want to... Yeah, I think it'll be more pertinent to actually heal Bartra right here instead of Lowen. Because Lowen's not going to be in the thick of things. Since we already retreated with him. So we'll go ahead and get Bartra this hit instead. Can't quite kill. But I can't stop this place up for a little bit longer. Hit with the 46. Yeah, that's, that's great. Fun. 
And I'm kind of wary of putting Lucius up to kill this guy, because that archer can come up and retaliate. But I think it's important that I just get kills at this point. And some pure water, I believe we've already seen that item before. That... Uh, boosts the res. Yeah, grows weaker each turn. So it's not a permanent stat item, it's a temporary one. I usually don't use the temporary items uh, here in Fire Emblem, to be honest, but it just now occurred to me that I can send Florina up here and actually kill this guy, yeah. So it's probably better to use the Steel Lance and kill him in one go, just so Florina doesn't take any more unnecessary damage. Something only a Pegasus Knight could have done on this map, getting across all this water, so it's really good. Okay, so with that in mind, um... I think it's now actually safe to soften this guy up. No, not quite. Soften this guy up with Elliewood and take him out with Rebecca. Well, not even really worth it, I guess. Let's just go ahead and do this. Yeah, take him out at 11. Yeah, still, still kind of risky. Can this bow and arrow guy? Okay. He can't reach me if I put Rebecca up here, so we're going to go ahead and do this. So Rebecca does not have a ton of HP. If I find an HP boosting item, it's looking like it's definitely going to go to Rebecca. Because she's kind of, I mean, she's so powerful, I've gotten so lucky with the, the strength and the speed level ups, but... As far as, like, defenses and HP are concerned, no dice so far. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Um, probably nothing, honestly. Maybe just put Elowood right here to take the archer hit if he wants to go for Priscilla? Uh, I think that's about it. Archer getting a little close to death right there. In fact, if the bow and arrow guy goes after him, we will be right on death's door. Thankfully, no killer bow this time to ruin my day. 